Was Whitebeard's death necessary? Did Whitebeard need to die for the story to continue? Well, today, we're going to talk about it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, subscribe for more videos, and check out my Facebook and Twitter, which are in the description box down below. Bring the war to bed. 72-year-old Edward Nugent, also known as Whitebeard, was killed by Blackbeard and his crew. After being shot to hell by the Blackbeard pirate, Whitebeard proceeded to talk about the Willem D, the One Piece, and the government, with his final words being the proclamation that One Piece is real. Mind you, this was all broadcast live across the world. The first thing that needs to be talked about is what does his proclamation about One Piece mean? First of all, his proclamation about the One Piece being real will go on to inspire other people to become pirates and will inspire people that have possibly given up on the One Piece being real to continue to look for it. It has been over 20 years since Roger left that message and if somebody doesn't remind these people to keep on searching, eventually they're going to give up. So he had reignited the flame of the pirate era that the government was attending to, to put out. Well the first thing I would like to say is that that is not a necessity. That speech and the One Piece is real moment, we didn't really need that. Those things could easily have been cut out. The only thing there that we really needed was the flashback to, to his conversation with Goldie Roger. But he, we could easily still get that without him dying. Maybe he would look at Luffy and we could get that. The real question here is the other part of his death. The fact that this is the death of a Yonko. Did we need a Yonko to die? Did Whitebeard specifically need to die? And the answer to that is yes. Allow me to explain. First of all, the only way for Blackbeard to get the Tremor Tremor fruit or the Gura Gura no Mi is for Whitebeard to die. I cannot go into what Blackbeard did to take the fruit because we don't know, but I am 100% positive the person that you take the devil fruit from from need to die for you to take it. Also, for Big Mom to take over Fifth Man Island and for Luffy to later on be able to challenge her to a fight, which is a key part of the story later on, Whitebeard needs to die so Big Mom can claim the island. Whitebeard's death shaped the new world because all of his territory were suddenly no longer under his protection. Also, if Whitebeard doesn't die, Blackbeard cannot become a Nyonko, which even though had not played a major role in the story yet, I'm assuming his position of Nyonko will play a huge role in the story later on when he uses it to his advantage to get him closer to the One Piece. For Blackbeard to get the Tremor Tremor fruit, for Fifth Man Island to fall under the control of Big Mom, the arcs like the Whole Cake Island arc can take place. For all of these things to happen, Whitebeard needs to die. So that brings us to the question of the video. Did Whitebeard need to die? And my answer to that is yes. For a lot of key story elements to still take place, Whitebeard need to die. But tell me your thoughts in the comments. Do you think he, there could have been written a different way for these things to happen? Do you think we, Oda could have avoided killing Whitebeard? Tell me your thoughts in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. And subscribe for more One Piece videos.